So, welcome to this video, and we're going to have a look at which stars do not evolve into red giants as they age. So, if we go to the HR diagram, on the upper right, we have this group where we have the red giant stars. So, this is where stars will evolve once they've come off the main sequence, and depending on their mass, they take a slightly different route into that. So for solar mass stars, so stars like the Sun, on the main sequence, which is the diagonal part on the HR diagram, they will move up and to the right when they go into the red giant phase. So that's their evolutionary path. And the very largest of stars, they actually move horizontally on the HR diagram. So they're already kind of at their peak luminosity. They can't get any more luminous than they already are. They're at that limit the eddington limit so they would typically evolve horizontally into that red giant phase their surface temperature cools down um, but they don't get any more luminous it's probably worth noting here that some of the very very largest stars the rarest of stars they actually won't evolve into the red giant phase at all um, but the larger ones the more common ones would evolve horizontally like this but if we go to the bottom end of the HR diagram on the main sequence, we have our red dwarf stars. Now, they don't evolve into red giants. There's no evolutionary path for those red dwarfs into red giants. So why might that be? Well, red dwarfs are very small, low mass stars. They are fully convective. So that means that their heat transfer is through convective um, mechanisms. Other stars, larger stars, are not fully convective they may have some elements of convection in there so for example the sun has an outer part that is convective and we can see some of those convective cells when we look at the sun uh, from where we are but red dwarfs are fully convective so why is that kind of important for evolving into red giants well on the right hand side we would have what would happen during the red giant phase of a normal like solar mass star. So once they've depleted all of their hydrogen in their central core, it then collapses, or well, it's, it's actually left with helium instead, and that will collapse. It wouldn't necessarily undergo helium fusion, but then it draws in hydrogen into this hydrogen shell around it. That hydrogen shell undergoes fusion. It has a larger volume, which creates a larger outward pressure. So it actually causes the star to expand because it overcomes the gravitational force which hasn't really changed but on the left hand side we never really get that central helium core because the whole star is fully convective so that hydrogen and helium is being circulated in the star continuously and it actually means that the star itself or the red dwarf is a lot more efficient in turning that hydrogen into helium so instead of just having a helium core it can almost turn the whole star into helium once it's finished on the main sequence. It's one reason why they actually live for a bit of, for a very long period of time um, and why they don't undergo this red giant phase because they don't have that hydrogen shell around the helium core which can then change that outward pressure generated. So they just kind of stay as they are for a longer period of time. So thank you for watching and if you enjoy you can check out some more of the videos.